Save it for later, cowboy. That rock. Save it. That. Save it. Save it for later. Save it. Save it. Save it. Save. 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 That. Save it for. Save it. Save it for. Save. 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 A rock juts out from the edge of the plateau. It looks pointier than the rest. An interesting idea. Those two items don't work together. Those two... Save it. Save it. Save it. If you want to talk to them, you'll need to find a way to get up there. Elder.
Take me to leader. Big matter, great importance, little time. Escort me to ruler. Look, can we just go see your chief already? Now you're making sense. Now you speak in our language. Go east past Big Rock to many teepees. There you will find Chief. Go east past Big Rock in tallest teepee. You'll find Chief. Thanks for clarifying. Go east past Big Rock in tallest teepee. You'll find Chief. Thanks for clarifying. Howdy. I'm L. LMO. I am Chief. I gathered that. Welcome, brave one who freed our brother from town cage. For what purpose you come, white warrior with four eyes? Why do you conduct raids on the town? Hmm, skinny warrior direct, not like beating bush around. It's a habit. We are not savages. Hey, I never called you that. Every other person I've met might have that opinion, but I don't. Hmm, perhaps. But we do not raid town. We go on borrowing missions. Borrowing? So you intend to give all this stuff back? Borrowing, like white men borrow our land, seem like fair trade. A continent for some knickknacks. Hmm. You not come here to talk about raids. You speak mind. You took something from the girl I'm after, and I'm here to get it back. Please? You ask much, small warrior with smooth head. This girl, is she beautiful? The most beautiful I've ever met. Ah, only one in town who can bake man's cookie so. Her father come with other man two years ago. Take sacred stone halves from us. From his daughter's house, we take back. So you did kill her father, for the stone half. No, we do not know who killed him. If we had, other half of stone would not be missing still. Why is the stone so important? As writing of ancestors and tribe from great southern cities is part of ancient legend. For all its age, it be no less important to us. We not take trouble to bring it back, only to give away again. Not without good reason. There must be something you'd give in exchange for the stone. Hmm. You ask that we trade common contemporary item for ancient artifact? Uh, yeah. And you admit to having ignorance of our culture and traditions? Freely. Then we have deal. What will you trade? Two raids ago, Warrior Brave bring back grand spoil from town. Let me guess. Some newfangled technology that will tip the balance of power, causing Indians everywhere to rise up against oppression, and in doing so, allow them to retake their land? No, grander still. Warrior Brave bring back cocoa acid water. That was going to be my next guess. Cocoa acid water hurt mouth plenty bad. Cocoa acid water make crops die. Cocoa acid water make nail corrode overnight and chief's teeth fall out. You don't see that in a soft drink commercial. But cocoa acid water tastes real good. I confess to having great liking for cocoa acid water. One drop 
and they're never enough. So, you've run out? Warrior only bring back small sample. Will not return to town for fear of capture. I thought you said he was brave. He be renamed. Chief must have more cocoa acid water, or he go loco. He who frees our brother from cage will overcome great adversity. Coco acid water, no problem for you. But I don't know where to find... Good. We have agreement. You go now. You go now. Return with Coco acid water. You go... It's good for... It's good. You behold the cheap. You think you think you'd look in the interests of maintaining good relations and in getting out of here intact. You wisely decide to leave everything alone. Like your head, it's full of air. Why? You're playing it right now. It's as stuffed as it needs to be. Nah. It's only got a few hundred MP3s. What a waste of space. Hot! In the interest of maintaining good relations, and in getting out of here intact, you wisely decide to leave everything alone. You're out. Now that you're no longer trying to shoot arrows at me, I guess I can introduce myself. I'm Al. Alamo. Hello, Al Al Emo. I am Pays with a token. I am Wins with a flush. You can just call me Al. We too have short names given to us by Chief. I be Payin. And I be Winnin. So, I guess you guys are warriors. You guess well. Maybe you're not as stupid as appearance suggests. What do you have to do to become a warrior? It different for each man. Great task chosen to challenge your natural abilities. What were your great tasks? I given challenge of eating three full meals in one day. I given challenge of eating only three meals in one day. Looks like you succeeded. Not exactly. We found way around challenges. You mean you cheated in your tasks? I gave him my three meals. I ate my three meals. And his. Well, at least you were working together. That's how Chief saw it. Now he keeps it together all time. How did you get this job of playing watch guard? We were honored to be appointed this important duty. We were honored to accept. You both did something wrong, didn't you? He ate too much of feast one night. He complained too much that food made him fat. That seems a bit harsh. Are you sure that's all you did? He always eats. Would consume Camp's entire stock if left to self. He complains that any food would make him fat. Make bad example to growing boys. Don't get us wrong, we think you okay. You strange man enough to talk to, make day interesting. 
But we busy keeping watch. Keeps mind off how long before next meal. Always too short a time. Always too long a time. Have a nice day. Peace, brother. Have a nice day. Peace, brother. Ah, you were not harmed during raid. Good. It's nice to know you were concerned about my welfare. Of course. The customer's always in a better mood to buy when not injured. Want more sunscreen? No, thanks. I came to ask you if you've heard of Coco Acid Water. Are you referring to specially patented coco cola Yeah, I guess so. Most recent batch was stolen during last town raid. Sorry to hear that. No matter. I'll put it on their tab. You can cut them in half and make acupuncture pads. You can cut... Can you make more of your Coco's Cola? Hmm, I've not brewed any for quite some time. I'm still trying to perfect formula, and I don't have ingredients. I will make another batch for you if you gather what I need. Hands up if you didn't see that coming. Thought so. Okay, go ahead. I need an egg. Prickly pear fruit, tobacco ash, gunpowder. Sorry, did you say gunpowder? Yes, I did. It gives Coco's Cola sparkling corrosive quality. We talking the real thing here? Always. Here's ow, your ow, prickly ow, pear ow. Here's the remnant of a filthy habit. Don't smoke, drink Coke. Coke? With a K. That's very important. I like the sound of that. You open the shotgun shell and discover that it is filled with white gunpowder. Here's your gunpowder. No wonder that beverage is bad for you. Don't tell anyone. Don't worry, I think consumers will drink it despite the hefty dental bill.
What do you know about the Indian camp? It's a small tribal community of natives who inhabit an area to the northeast of Anazira. Their customs are quite fascinating, such as... Can we save the social studies lesson for later? If you want to walk in ignorance, go right ahead. What can a guy do for kicks around here? The advantage of living out here is having the time to pursue literary works of the last several centuries. All the great authors, poets, philosophers. That would take ages. If everyone spent their lives reading, there'd be less time for starting wars. But nothing would get done. True, but then everyone would know that it's all been done before, just in different ways. I see. Much like a graphic adventure. Exactly. Um, Mayor? Yes. Oh, it's Mr. Uh... The names? Ah, yes, that's right. What can I do for you? I was wondering about you, sir. Are you married? Nope. Have kids? How would I have kids if I ain't married? Ah, uh, right. I take it you're well learned on Anazera? Darn straight. Lived here all my life. Read everything worth reading about the town, and know that the town is everything worth reading about. So if I have a question about it... You just bring your behind on over here and I'll sort you out. Thanks. Least I can do for our new citizen. But I'm not... Excellent! Don't mean to be rude, son, but I'm a very busy man. Don't mean to... Did you hear about the raid on the town? I did. Good thing I wasn't hanging around out there at the time, so to speak. And you thought you had the monopoly on bad puns. What do you know about the Indian camp? You'll need to whistle more than a happy tune if you're going there. What can a guy do for kicks around here? Ever consider vaudeville? Customers always want to see oddball types doing oddball things. I'll, uh, think about it. Bill can't talk to you right now. He's docked a cent from his wages for every wrong note. Bill can Take a seat on the bar stool if you want to chat with Kevin. Take a seat. What do you know about the Indian camp? Never been there. I only know that you're bound to have a few more holes in you by the time you come back. If you manage to get back. Any advice? Unless you got a suit of armor lying about. I'd stay well clear of it, lad. What can a guy do for kicks around here? Depends how good your constitution is. I've got beverages to knock you into next year. You're starting to repeat yourself, lad. Sure you wouldn't like to be having a drink? Help get your thoughts in order. You're starting to repeat yourself, lad. Sure you wouldn't like to be having a drink? Help get your thoughts in order. You're starting to re
What do you know about the Indian camp? Great place to get your stolen goods back. You've tried that then? Ain't had nothing stolen. They wouldn't dare set foot in my barn. Given that mule, I'm not surprised. What can a guy do for kicks around here? Stand in a bullpen. You got more coming out of your oral crapper than a week's worth of mule turd, boy. You got more coming out of your oral crapper than... Having decided that you ow, 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 Your aim is off. You call that a throw? Good thing you get more than one shot at this. Your throwing stat isn't high enough. You're aiming for the nest, right? That walnut launcher would come in handy about now. Was I supposed to take that? No. Bullseye! Here's your egg. Sorry, but it got a bit fresh on route. Whew, you're not wrong, but all the better. Excellent! I now make Coco's Cola. Hold on, that'll be... Yeah, I know. Collecting your ingredients wasn't enough. You gain wisdom in my presence. Here you go.
May I present to you Coco's Cola? Coco's Cola, is it? Coco's Cola is it. Enjoy. Hmm, here is stone. May it help you catch woman before you tire of chase. It is time for ceremony. You be our honored guest. Tonight, I tell you tale of ancestors. I always fell asleep during history lessons. Good that you may catch dreams of gold. Gold? This is story about lost gold of Aztecs. I'm listening. When Spanish explorers arrived centuries ago, Aztecs moved their treasures from their home, Tenochtitlan, to the north. Fearing their conqueror's pursuit, they hid it deep beneath our land. Before returning to face destruction, they placed curse on gold. Only those preserved in body may draw near it, and only those wishing selfless wealth may claim it. Preserved in body? Selfless wealth? Hmm. Aztecs kept own logic. Two half-stones joined tell of way to gold. You, warrior Al, possess one of these. Wow! Once at door of hallowed chamber, a final trial must be faced. What sort of trial? It will be known to he who finds the gold. Had a feeling you'd say that. Sleep now, warrior Al. You may share our camp tonight. Finally, a little respect around here. It is customary to show respect for one with small stature. Uh, right. Also, deference for one whose hair on top end is less than on bottom. Hey, how did you... Also, regard for one whose eye not sharp enough to see nail before stepping on it. I get it. Most importantly, reverence given to one who at grand age still shines with purity. That sounded all right. Meaning that you are old and still obviously virgin. And on that note, I'm going to bed. Alone. 